वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू मी मापरा प्रल्हाद तुमचे ज्ञानदीपच्या या पीवाय की सिरीज मध्ये सर्वांचे स्वागत करतो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द सोशल जस्टिस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बिफोर दॅट वी वी कॅन और वी शुड मस्ट रिव्हिजिट द व्हॉट एव्हर थिंग्स वी हॅव प्रिपेअर्ड और वी हॅव अंडरस्टूड फॉर दिस अँसर रायटिंग प्रॅक्टिस विच वी जस्ट लेट्स हॅव अ ग्लान्स ऑट इट ग्लान्स ऑफ इट इज फर्स्ट थिंग जस्ट रिव्हाइज इट we study that the very important and first stage is understanding of question understanding the demand of the question the very first thing until and unless you are in a position to comprehend the understand the demand of question completely and comprehensively you should not go and proceed to the right towards the writing the answer you are you can you know read multiple times you have to read multiple times to understand it thoroughly so let's begin so first thing first understanding of question then what is the next step next step next step is linking it with topic of the syllabus then we have studied already studied that third step is decide the structure of the answer what is heading what is subheading what could be the intro would be the next our concern so we have gone through this kind of steps and we are going to practice it more and more often in the every question that is coming forward then we have also studied that there are mainly two to three types of answer writing format particularly body one of them is like only mentioning the points for example like this way you can mean only mention the points then another is you can mention the subheading explain it briefly with the example this is the another method explain it then another method explain it and then example right and then is a third method that is you can write the subheading of which you can or below which you can only instead of explaining explaining it you can only the mention the topics related to it kiwa points related to it just mention the points which should be self explanatory points self explanatory so you can write only self explanatory points there are many such questions we are going to study them in one by one in a upcoming lectures now look go ahead <coughs> and let's look at the question the question is sorry what are the methods used by the farmers organization to influence the policy makers in india and how effective are those methods kyun are these methods the question is simple what are the different methods used by farmers organization so what is the farmers organization there are some farmer organization but farmer organization are part or or subset of a bigger concept known as pressure groups we all know pressure groups so pressure groups what is the core function of the pressure groups to influence the policy decisions in favor of their clients for example if there is a ngo that kind of influence on the you know uh, policy if there is a farmers organization their primary concern is the happiness or farmers welfare is their primary concern means they have to shape agriculture policies act decisions etc but what are these different kinds of methods that we have to enlist here and this is the question then next now we, once we understand this and there is a second part of question what it what it says it says how effective are these methods how effective are these methods if we are going to implement it we should have to write this effectiveness of it there is only 10 marker question so we have to write in you know, 150 words so a uh, second step is link it with the syllabus of the topic so we know that linkage is that different groups and association that is pressure groups even we can link this topic with the one more subject which clearly mentions about the pressure groups so pressure groups is the syllabus point now we have the pressure groups as the syllabus point so we can start rewinding or revising related to content related to the pressure groups now let's begin so what could be the introduction so understand the question structure body etc 
then understanding what are the demand of the question locals what are the keywords we have to write different methods different farmer organizations means pressure group then policy makers in india and then its effectiveness what is the what are the different policy makers policy makers means those people or the seats in a power or in a position to influence or to create the policies and implement its plays role in its implementation for example member of parliament member of parliament member of legislative assembly they creates acts they can create farm related acts so in one or another way they actually influencing the agriculture policies then another is the executives means ministers agriculture minister prime minister commerce minister for that matter right even consumer affairs minister the pds policies are directly affecting the agriculture commerce related trade related theek so executives minister they are then third party or the third domain is that the secretaries ki hua civil service civil servants they are actually maintaining the policy making it and implementing it right so these are the different policy makers in india at least these are the three then there is a beyond this like niti ayog etc but we should concern about them only but question is not about them question is it is just to understand what is actually asking but question is about methods used by the farmer organization and discuss their effectiveness right so let's begin introduction farmers organization play a significant role in representing the interest of farming community in india they seek to influence the policy makers to ensure that the policies legislations are favorable to the farmer and they address their concern so we write a simple introduction that the what is the purpose of the farmers organization the main purpose of the farmers organization is to represent the interest of the farming community you know farmers so we they are the actually representatives of the farming community and now their secondary role is the role is the to influence the policies in a such a way that they will benefit the agriculture risk you know farmers are you getting it so this could be the introduction then there is a methods this is the heading methods used by the farmer organization what are the methods first method is a lobbying so lobbying means kai present their demands and concerns aiming to persuade them to take decision that are favorable to the farmers so lobbying though in india lobbying is not officially or legally recognized in us lobbying practices officially or legally recognized what do you mean by lobbying lobbying means persuading a person in a position of a power to influence in a such a way that he will make such a decision which will be favorable to us this is simple lobbying in return in exchange of money in exchange of electoral votes in exchange of support anything that is within the legal ambit so so lobbying can be performed by the farmers organization many farmers organization pursue this effectively lobbying the uh, policy makers particularly the member of parliament then protest and demonstrations we all know the all kind kind of pressure groups including the ngos <coughs> the trade unions all perform these type of tactics to pressurize the policy makers to influence the policy rallies marches sitings sitings mean apan dharna manto right or even hunger strikes also and the good example of it is recent farmers protest or recent farmers demonstration happen in delhi which forces union government to withdraw the three three agriculture related or farm related bills getting it then next the policy advocacy policy advocacy means suggesting the policies many times farmers organization have issued or time and again issued some policy advices so they create some documents these documents are always helpful while the policy making by the government so they refer these documents so they suggest some alternatives so instead of doing this you can do this these are the policy alternative so many times farmers organization pursue this as well there is then 
alliances and partnership this is more influential alliances means they will alliances with trade unions they will alliances with political parties they will alliances with the some kind of groups of associations like ngos yeah self help groups these are the alliances for example alliances with other civil society organization trade unions even political parties we know that there is a farmers organization of the congress also and the farmers organization of the bjp also so both are influencing the policy decision related to the farmers then electoral politics many farmers organization try to pursue the political parties directly what in exchange they said if you able to or if you influence the policy or make the policy in such a way that it is going to helpful to us that is farmers we will support you in the elections so in this way they are directly intervening in the electoral politics or in another way we can say that the electoral politics or electoral behavior is shaped by the nature of agriculture policies and this is the direct result of pressure tactics created by the farmers organization many times they themselves feel the local candidate themselves a candidate in the uh, you know local panchayats or the state or the central government they themselves they feel their leaders as the candidate for the elections so that their vote will be the consolidated and their representation can be done in the parliament then next so these are the various tactics now second part of the question is what are the effectiveness of this organization kyun what are the effectiveness effectiveness of this kind of methods used by farmers organization i have just enlisted the three effectiveness you have you can definitely you know mention many more one is the three formulas which already mentioned in 2021 farmers agitation protest you know demonstration led union government to withdraw these bills this is effectiveness because of demonstration they have to withdraw it then second swaminathan committee recommendations on msp swaminathan committee recommended that there should be the 50% profits 50% 50 there should be direct 50% profit means if the production cost of the any agriculture produce is 100 rupees there should be minimum price msp should be the 150 though there is a some discussion related how the production cost is calculated but we are not going into it we are just saying that this kind of 50% profit related suggestion by the recommendation by the swaminathan committee is accepted by the union government because of with what there are many demonstrations happen where the demand core demand is the implementation of swaminathan policy even dr anna sai hazare during the agricultural protest you know past in the past also heard that the one of the demand is the implementation of the swaminathan committee recommendation and the last one is the waiver of farmers we all know that farm loan waiver mainly happens during the election so many farmers organization colluded or alliance make alliances with the political parties in return of waiver of the farm loss in after the election for their support during the election for that particular party so these are the effectiveness are you getting it so these are the two parts this is only 150 kind of uh, 150 words question so that much is a sufficient now let's see the conclusion so conclusion says that while the effectiveness of these methods depends on several factors farmers organization have been successful in bringing the significant policy changes the success has been counted here we just mentioned that yes farmers organization has successfully able to influence the policy decision in a such a way that that will impact the agriculture sector and lives of the farmers in a country and in that policy makers also there is also important aspect on the behalf of policy makers also to consult such a farmers organization so as to ensure the doubling of farmers income so we can simply mention that the both sides that the role of farmers organization is also successful and there is a duty or the it is crucial factor that the policy makers all should also consult the farmer organization administration should also consult so this is about this question we will talk about the next thing in the next question thank you